Hello world, this is Samir and I welcome you all on this episode of AI Society and in this particular episode we are going to make a very interesting project which is called as Edge Detector. Basically it will detect the edges of a particular image, what are the, whatever the edges that is present inside a particular image it will be able to detect it. For example like the, the you know the edges of our uh, of our goggles, of our you know uh, the specs or edges of our laptop, the camera or the light or anything that you can think of it will be able to detect the edges. So basically we will be seeing four type of edges. It will also provide you the knowledge of four type of edges that is there in the computer vision, which is Sobel X, Sobel Y and Sobel R. And basically there are five and also there is Laplacian and then there is a Canny. So we'll see which one is the best one. Although there is no best one, uh, you know, the edge direction has been evolved in time to time. So that will be seen in this particular video. So make sure you watch it till the end. Thank you so much. Let's start with the video. So, so first of all you have to import two libraries which is called cv2 and numpy. If you don't have the library cv2 just go to your terminal and type pip install uh, opencv-python pip install opencv-python and that your, your particular library will be installed and just import it just start writing the code uh, after that. After that you need to tell or you have to import cv2 then you have to import numpy after that you are reading the image using the im read method where the image is this one basically uh, it is getting opened yeah this one is the image so i want to basically just again i'm opening it what you need to do, what we need to do here we need to detect this you know the edges of these uh, the specs and hairs and you know the edges of the laptop the mouse the remote the camera the stand the speaker every you know the monitor every edges we need to detect it so let's see how far it goes and let's see how will it look like so after that what we need to do we are basically taking the height and the width of the image uh, using the im, uh, image dot shape so it is creating the tuple height and width and we are just taking the image dot shape which will extract the height and width of the image and it will store inside these two variables separately after that we are having sobel x and sobel y now this is the first type of edge detection that we have in the computer vision which is sobel so sobel what it does let's see the documentation because it is better explained in documentation yeah so now this you can see as you can see this sobel sobel basically what it does it is it calculates the first second third and third derivative or mixed image derivative using an extended sobel operator so if you go down below a little bit this is these are some technicalities like you know in all cases these are some technicalities that you can read so basically uh, when we come down here a little bit the sobel operator combines the gaussian smoothing and differentiation so the result is more or less resi resistant to noise most often the function is called with x order and y order now whenever we call the function using x order that will call it as sobel x so it will perform the edge detection using the x axis and when we when we will be performing it using the y order then it will be called as sobel y okay so we are going to we are going to perform the both. So to calculate the x or y image derivative, the case cor correspond to kernel of. This is the kernel of basically. So you can see. Uh, I'll show you the documentation in a bit. So now the main thing is x order equals to y when will be when we want to calculate the sobel x and then y order is equal to y if you want to calculate the sobel y. So let's see the documentation. We we have this documentation of the sobel operator. This is the documentation of Sobel operator. You can read it more if you want. I'll paste the link below. So in the la so basically, uh, these are the some technicalities that you can understand to more to be more graphical. Let's assume we have one D image and it is shown by the jump in intensity in the plot below. So this is basically it is you know the edge jump can be seen more easily when we take the first derivative. So whenever it detects the image, the graph jumps a little bit. Okay, so then it is able to detect that yes, uh, edge is being pre presented. So in the Sobel operator, we have the horizontals. When we will be making the horizontal changes, it is called as Sobel X. When we will be making these vertical changes, it is called as Sobel Y. And these are some technicalities. These are some, you know, matrices that it performs using this. 
So the function that we are using Sobel X, the code of that function is given inside, inside this particular code base. So you can see the code from C++, Java and Python. So this is one is of Python. Okay, although you don't need to write this code anywhere because you'll be using the Sobel X directly. Okay, you'll be using the Sobel X directly. So you don't need to worry about it. You can just have a look just understand if you understand python you'll be able to able, easily able to understand if something you're not able to understand just google it okay so these are some technicalities of it you can read it and these are the results it will show but let's see so the, the sobel x the sobel y and now you are able, now this is the x order this is the y order sorry this is the x order this is the y order and we have put the x order zero x order one for the sobel x and x order zero for sobel and uh, y order one to be sobel y okay so let's let's move forward now so this is the this is something that we'll be seeing when we'll be running the code so this is showing how it look uh, this is how this is how the original image looks like and then uh, we'll wait for the enter key this is the sobel x this is sobel y so basically when we when we'll be running the code then you will be seeing this particular thing okay when we'll be running the code then you will be seeing this particular thing don't worry about it now there is a sobel or operate do sobel or which is basically combined of sobel x and sobel y the horizontal and the vertical one we are going to combine these two sobel x and sobel y and we'll perform a bitwise or operator there so after performing bitwise or operator we are just combining the sobel x sobel y and then we'll see how the image looks like but we'll see that when we'll be running the code after that this is the laplacian it gets the all orientation length and breadth so basically it takes all orientation of length and breadth so if you want to understand the sobel laplacian a little bit more let's understand it so we have to calculate the laplacian of an image the function calculates the laplacian of the source image by adding up the second x and y derivative calculated using the sobel operator so again sobel operator is calculating it and then we are performing the derivative of x and y and then basically it is called as laplacian so if you want to see the documentation this is the documentation we have this is the laplace operator i know many of the people just want to run the code but understanding it must make much understanding it make make much more easier for the further projects that you're going to make okay so understand each and every line of a project then you will be able to understand the things here okay so this is the theory of it laplacian operator so these are you know this is the sobel one this is the sobel one remember i show you i showed you this on the sobel so whenever we are performing it this is the sobel it is having now it is performing the second derivative of f, f, of x and y and now it is performing the laplacian one okay so although it takes lot of edges it basically sometimes what it does it you know it takes out the lot of edges from the yeah it takes a lot i thought the recording was not on so it takes a lot of edges from the uh, uh, you know the image so this is the python code the the function that we are using this function this laplace function we are using where is that this lap okay this laplace function we are using this one laplacian this particular code you can see here on this on this particular page so you can see inside java python and c++ whatever you are comfortable just read the code if you want although you don't need but it's still if you want it okay and then this is these are the explanation whatever this is written here the explanation is given just below it okay so results are quite good like this is the uh, this is the um, cow and a you know bachla kind of something and then you can see the laplacian output now let's uh see we'll be seeing the result we'll be seeing the result when we'll be running the code don't worry now we have the canny detection which applies the threshold that is if a pixel is within upper and lower threshold it is considered as an edge so now this provides a unique way to identify an edge on an image so we have canny so we have the function called canny and finds edges in an image using the canny algorithm the function finds the edges in the input image and marks them in the output map edges using the canny algorithm the smallest value between the threshold 1 and threshold 2 is used as the edge linking okay basically applies threshold that is if a pixel is within the upper and lower threshold that is considered as an edge you can watch that in the documentation more like this is the this is more the documentation let it open yeah so we have the canny detector lower rate good localization minimal response this is 
this is considered to be one of the best edge algorithm edge detection algorithm okay uh, to use on a particular not particular use on an image so basically gaussian filter is being used at the size of 5 for the canny detection these are some technicalities the k value the gz value gy value you can you can you know understand the mathematics and then this is the code that we are using python code that we are using although you can do it you, you can write it from your own but this is the python code that we are using here okay so this is the image and this is the uh canny detection so it can you can see how good it is perfectly you know having the canny not not too much and not too low okay not too much detection is there not too low detection is there okay so yeah so now let's run the code we'll see that let's run the code and let's see how it looks like okay so this is the code how it looks like let me see it's running it's running it's running yeah this is the original image okay this is the sobel x this is sobel x like on the as you can see there's a x axis these are the x axis okay it's performing the x axis it is able to detect it but this is not that good because you know a lot of things is getting detected like a lot of noise is also getting detected here a lot of noise let this is the sobel y as you can see there is a y axis detection here okay y axis kind of something it still it is detecting lot of noise there not ignoring it this is sobel or you know the combination of both of them we are just taking the sobel x and sobel y and putting a bitwise or operator there this is the laplacian we have i i told you that laplacian takes you know excess it performs excess as detection like this is the camera stand can you imagine here it is a camera stand but it is getting you know involved in the noise only so that is also not that good for now and this is the canny okay quite good i can say quite good perfectly it is able to detect the edges of the monitor it is able to detect the edge of the camera stand my specs my nose my lips my ears and also the remote can you see the remote buttons can you see the a keyboard buttons and you know this is a tv so basically as you can see that this are this is this is quite good this is performing quite good okay so yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it this is the video that will that will give you a lot of information about these can you know edge detection techniques in the that exists in the computer vision okay whenever you are going to perform the edge detection you will be needing these kind of knowledge for your projects thank you so much make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much we'll meet in the next video